Hello everyone, Redness here and welcome back to the block breaking SMP. We're at episode 5 right now and today is the day. Today is the day we're finally going to build this shop. The fuel shop has to be done but first get a diamond block because of course we're going to join the hunted so let's do this and I've got 21 left of course. So I'm, go I'm going to buy some things. I'm going to buy some things. I'm excited. I'm happy. This is great. So here it is guys. We just have to put down our name. So let's take the book. Let's get into the book. To the last page of course. And then just put in the name. Make sure... Show them we've paid, of course. Done. Put it back. And then we'll get to the back side of it. Because there's some letters over here. Get on top over there. And let's just... Let's put it on the top. Let's put it on the top. Look at it. It's amazing. I want this. I want to win all of these diamonds. It's amazing. So now... Let's just buy a couple of things and get out of here. Okay, well, I got through my diamonds pretty quick. Of course, you know, the first nine were, of course, for the hunted. I had to be signed up by tomorrow. So, yes, I've signed up for the hunted and I'm excited for it. I definitely can't wait. But there's more. There's even more. I've spent my diamonds. To be a lot safer. I needed this safety. And now it's looking way much better. I'm <laughs> so much more protected like this. I think we're almost ready to even go into the mineshaft. Because like this I'm way less afraid that I'm going to die in there. So we've got 7 diamonds left. And I've also bought 4 shulker boxes. Because why not? Four shulker boxes, three diamonds. That was just an amazing deal. And when I start collecting lava with the lava buckets. With the buckets. Of course when I start collecting lava with the buckets. I can use these shulker boxes. The only thing though is. I forgot to buy iron. I didn't buy any iron. And I don't have a lot left. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. I definitely need more iron. So I think I need to go back. Okay, so I need a way into the nether. So I made another nether portal. Because I need to get to the lower parts of the nether. If I want to get a lot of lava, that's where I'm going to get it. So let's just go in. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, this doesn't look okay. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Okay, let's first of all block this off. Because this is going to kill me. And that's something we don't want, of course. We're so high up. We're so high up into the nether. Okay. So. If I. Oh. Oh no. Of course. Hoglins. That's also going to be dangerous. But I do need. An easy way. To get down into the nether. And that's going to be. By the portal. Up on my mountain. So I need to find out where to go. Where I can make a hole inside of the nether. Okay. This wasn't that far. It actually wasn't. And my portal it's above, above this block. Above this opening. So... I need to 
definitely need to mark this. And I've still got some cobblestone, so that's great. I'll mark this one. And now I just need to see where I can get up. So I think we've got some potential spots. I think these are the ones that are high enough. Maybe this one as well. So I definitely think we can do that. If the portal's right over there. Then maybe this one or this one is going to be the one. I don't know how my portal exactly is going to be. Because it might be this block as well. But it also might be this block. But I think... I think somewhere over here is going to be fine. To actually get down. So... Let's hope we've got the right spot. And I'll get back. Maybe first collect a little bit of lava. If I'm able to. Okay, so let's hope I'm going to do this the right way. This is where I want the hole to be. So then the obsidian over there. A stone block over there. A lever on top of it. Trap door. And it should right fine. TNT over here, TNT over there, and then, yes, it's going to be, oh no, wait, wait, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this, I wasn't ready, I was just trying <laughs> to test it out, I forgot about the TNT, it was already going to blow up, so, okay, let's do that again, piston, Stone, lever, trapdoor. I took more with me, of course, because in case I messed up. And I did fine. I did fine. So, flick the lever, flick the. Oh no, flick the TNT, and then start spamming. Did this work? No, this did not work. This did not work. And. Oh no, where's my crafting table? My crafting table blew up. I brought my flint and steel. I was already afraid I didn't bring my flint and steel, but I've brought it. I can still make a crafting table and let's just place it on this side this time. So I won't lose it again. Another trap door and of course I've brought things for another lever. <laughs> yes. It's like that. Okay. So, again. Piston. And then, of course, stone. TNT. TNT. Trapdoor over there. Lever over there. And now. Just. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. It's also my first time doing this, so I'm not that great. I'm definitely not that great at it. I haven't done it before. So, again, this is going to be the last time, of course, because after this, I don't have any more TNT. So, let's just hope I'm going to do this right this time. Be prepared with a piston. Push the lever. Get. Oh no. Oh no. I'm screwing up again. I'm screwing up again. I'm definitely screwing up. This rain is fine. These are sad times. I don't have any more gunpowder. I can't even make TNT. So. Let's just go to the other portal. Find a way down. And grab our lava. Okay, let's see. Wait a minute. The hoglins. The hoglins are afraid of the warped rooms, right? So if I grab a warped room, maybe there's going to be more. I don't like the small guys. Because they're just scared. They're scared. Come on. 
Come on, don't go and attack me if you're just going to run away. Come on, stop running. Just stop it. Stop running from me. Because I know you're going to annoy me. You see, I knew that you were going to attack it again. And, oh. You scared me, man. <laughs> you actually really scared me. Go down. Go down. I can get down. I just need to be careful. And I need to make sure I'm not going to be ambushed. Especially when I'm close to the lava. But I can get down. I can definitely get down. And then there's my nether portal. That's fine. That's fine. It could have been a lot better. But it's fine like this. I'm down. And need to make sure I'm not getting ambushed. So just lock myself in for now. Okay, this is safe enough. This is probably safe enough. Just... Oh. No. Freaking way. All this stupid stuff. All this stupid stuff that I don't need. It's ruining my inventory. Just get out of here. Let's grab the shock box. Put it down. Somewhere over there. Where it's safe of course. Put the buckets in there. And then 3, 4, 5, 6. I've got 10, 15. Okay so... Don't fill up all of the buckets. Definitely don't fill all of them up. Grab some more. And now put them in. Just to be safe. And then I think I can fill up all the others. No freaking way. No freaking way. I was just jumping up and down over here. I could have died. I jumped right over here. Jumped over there. Came on this block. I. It could have been my death. It could have been my death. This. Oh no. Those are piglins right? No hoglins. I need to get out. Oh yes, oh yes, my portal and a bastion, that's a freaking bastion, I don't, oh, don't do that, just don't, I don't like that, it's dangerous, I, yeah, it's not going to be the best bastion, but it's definitely a bastion. I'll be exploring soon. If I don't die. Don't. Don't die. So of course after our trip in the nether. It's time to go to the shopping district. And finally build this shop. It has been long enough. And it's about time. It's about time. It's going to make it so much better. A beautiful shop. With some amazing products, I'm going to enjoy this.
and here it is guys look at this beautiful shop i think it's beautiful definitely i'm so happy about this this is this is what i was thinking about a big massive furnace and i'm not the only one who likes it so that just makes me happy that really makes me happy and of course i'll probably have to make another one soon because time would like to have one at his base and i think it's fine i might be able to do it a little bit different i just have to think about maybe doing something a little bit different to make it fit in for him a little bit better maybe some maybe a small block change or maybe something with moss because he's the moss king but maybe it's just going to be this because he likes it and he wants it so that's definitely great i'm also really happy with it the only thing that i'm still thinking about is i need a hay bill i need a hay bill in the top so the smoke is going up a little bit more but i just love how this looks i'm really happy with my shop i need to get down from over here so yeah just look at it oh let me just let me just i need a screenshot i need a screenshot of this beautiful shop my first shop my first actual shop it's done and i'm so happy with it let's get down let's get to this build grab all of the dirt because i might be able to use it look at it look at it with the shaders isn't it looking beautiful i still need to do a little bit of the lighting and of course a little bit of the terraforming i still need to work on this area make it look a lot better of course i hadn't even thought about it until wire mentioned it but wire gave me this pointed dripstone this beautiful pointed dripstone and i think that's actually one of the things i'm going to use for this area so just think about maybe some points of dripstone over here in the back let me just place down a little bit of it i'm not going to do a lot of it right now i'm not going all out but just to give a little bit of a look some points of dripstone in the back i think that might be able to work so that's something i might do but for now the shop is done it's actually done i'm so happy with it and of course the inside is looking nice as well maybe i still need to do a little bit over there of course some lanterns instead of torches maybe maybe some lava on the top over there with some glass oh if i would do that then the holes with the brick okay let me get up let me get up because you need to have a better look at that the holes from the brick you might be able you might be able you will see the lava through there and i think that's going to be a nice little touch it also gives a little light so that's amazing and then just some stained glass underneath it then i have to think about these stairs maybe switch them up for full blocks and then stairs underneath okay hold on hold on let me get up because this is not right no no i'm doing it again this is better that's a lot better and of course this ender chest the first ender chest my first ender chest i also got it from wire as you know i'm so happy with it it's my first ender chest and i can put one down at my home now because we've also got a blaze rod so that's amazing but i love this shop i love this and as i mentioned blaze rods probably blaze rods <laughs> 
and campfire. But yes, from a distance, this is definitely looking great. I'm really happy with it. I've spent a little bit more time on detailing. Make it look a little bit better. And I'm so happy with it. I need to get a little bit of distance. Because time, he said, from, from the diamond blocks, I think, for the hunted, it was looking amazing. So that's where I'm going. And that's where I want to check things out. So let's be careful over here. Because we don't want to fall down. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's looking amazing. It's really looking amazing. That's what I was going for. Oh this is great. This is exactly what I was thinking of. The only thing. As I said before. Still... Need some more smoke. And this shop though. <laughs> this shop. It's a Luna shop. It's beautiful. Yeah this is a beautiful build. The fantasy style is looking amazing. I love myself a fantasy build. The warped blocks with the deep slate and that roof trim. Oh that's beautiful. The tower. The white tower. Yes, that's fitting in. Oh, it's a beautiful tower. The amethyst also, the amethyst clusters, of course, they give it this little extra touch, which is amazing. The glow berries as well. And this chimney is beautiful. And why haven't I thought about that before? A wall above a campfire. I've never thought of that. That's amazing, I love that little bit of detail. Okay, so I've really enjoyed this day and it was definitely a lot of fun. I also can't wait for me to start building one of these at Time's Base because he's willing to pay some diamonds for this amazing furnace. So of course, I'll probably do that soon and it's going to give me a couple of diamonds. So that's definitely amazing. I have really enjoyed this and I'm glad that people like my shop. So that's definitely amazing. And of course, I almost forgot the name of the shop. It's just burn it. Because everything in here, everything you buy, you just need to burn it. Except for the campfires. You need the campfires to just burn it. So I thought it was be going to be a great name for my fuel shop. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. It couldn't have been better. Well, it could have been better if I made it a little bigger. But I think this skill is going to be great. So I'm definitely happy with it. So we will be ending today's episode at our new fuel shop. And... I've really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I would like to say to every one of you that I'm happy you went with me on this journey in this year. And I would like to wish you all a happy, a happy Christmas, of course. And I hope you're enjoying the Christmas days. And I hope I will see you back. So... Enjoy these days with your family. You can see over there. The beautiful Christmas chests. This, of course there's going to be more. I don't have Christmas chests in here. Because I've been using barrels. Wait a minute. Christmas and the chest. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Okay so I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I did. And I hope I'll see you next time. Time. Doom? Time. It's time. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. I I need to get some rest. <laughs>